Club that away. Short. The track will still be on the slow side, so plenty of time there for Imamu Huck to put that away for a boundary. He loves playing that pull. That's another top edge. And that's gone for a boundary. That's unfortunate, but uh, a little bit of a bonus there for Pakistan. They won't mind that at all. They won't mind where the runs come. Wow. Now that is some hit. In his favorite area, and he lifted it effortlessly. Airborne for a while. Six to Fakhar. Example of a drag down, and that's hammered away. That's beautifully played in front of square in full control. It was banged in short, but not short enough. Just came through chest high. Ball kishing, ball kishing. Beautifully done. Just a nudge down the ground, continuing with his work. Imamul Huck, 50 from 60 balls, a ninth one day international half century. She had to catch it. It will be taken. Yeah. Oh, dear. What's the score? 112 does the job again for Kesav Morad. He's in the game. Imam can't believe it. Gone for 57. It's 112 for one. Nice to field it. Malan quickly onto it. Brings up a 50 for Fakhar Zaman. Log sweep. And as we've seen throughout the series, he doesn't often get it wrong. That's way back onto the bank. And that is the big boundary. And that's at least 90 odd meters. So that's a fantastic strike. Oh, and he's just clubbed that one away. Nice and flat for six runs. That's the short of the two boundaries. But that traveled some distance. What a strong shot. Long hop, and that's been smashed for four. One bounce just inside the rope. Plays it away for a run. That's his hundred. Back to back hundreds. That's a magnificent feat achieved by Fakhar Zaman. He should be mighty pleased and proud of what he has achieved on this tour. Up and out. Out this time. No going upstairs. It's that man, Maharaj, again. Yeah, not happy. Fakhar Zaman has got a, a century again. Back-to-back -back centuries in one day internationals. Hey! Yeah! Oh, we're going upstairs, are we? We are. But they're confident, South Africa. Klaassen straight away cheering and running towards Maharaj. Murray Rasmus standing slightly to the left of the line. So that's probably why he goes upstairs to make sure because he's not quite in line. It's 2.14 for three. Notches up another milestone, Babar Azam. A half century to this quite special player, 50 from 55 balls. Oh. And he's got out. Can you believe it? He's opening up the offside to try and whack it over extra cover, and he's dragged it, but he's dragged it straight back to John John Smuts, who has his first. He saw the disappointment. He hit the ground in frustration. Got yourself a wicket, brilliant. Given some air through the delivery, and it just holds up on Fahim and out in front of himself, pops it straight back to Markram. Yeah, the spin ops and his work for South Africa again. Yay! What a catch that is! My goodness, that is a blinder from the skipper. He has taken that brilliantly. Low catch, hit hard. And he's got down there and snaffled a fine catch. And eventually comes too straight and 
bit of an expletive that comes out because he knows that was not what he wanted to do. He's got it too straight. Same delivery, same result. Absolutely brilliant. 25 from that over, and that is fantastic from Pakistan. Brings up the 300. Oh, the slower delivery drag down again, and that's way back. And Dilip Pechlaquire goes to the ground. I don't know if he slipped just a touch, but it's still on the card through by Razam to get to three figures. Last delivery. Up, and is it enough? No, it's not going to be, and it's taken in the outfield, so probably three or four metres short. But for Markram, so four runs, almost a maiden, except for that last delivery, six for none, off two. Oh, he's picked that up as well. That's a pickup shot for six. Oh, it's... Did it wake him up? I think it might have woken him up. Welcome back. Over the top. Fine stroke, couple of bounces, and that's four runs. Driving on the up. Shot. Picked it up so early. One bounce and away to the ropes for four. Yanaman Milan again. It's a big appeal. It's a big appeal. Well, in comes Imam al -Hake. says he thinks it's off the pad. They're trying to convince the skipper. Not sure whether to go or to go. Yep, they will. Right, Ultra Edge, what is happening here? Oh, there you go. There's the edge. There you go. There's confirmation. It's a breakthrough that Pakistan needed. And that man, Shahin Shah Afridi, is the one that gets it. Through him. That's the delivery you've got to watch out for. We've seen it a couple of times in the T20s in Pakistan. It's that ability to come out of the front of the hand and skid on quicker than you think. John John Smuts on the back foot looking for the drag down. And it was on to him in a flash and through his defenses. And it's a really easy picking. Something for Temba Bavuma to latch onto and just knock through the leg side. That's beautifully played. Overpitched again by Kadir, and he smashes it through the covers to go past the 50 mark for the second time in ODI Internationals. The first occasion, he went on to get the 100, and it's been a good innings. He's compiled his runs in very solid fashion. Oh. Yanaman Milan's got other ideas. What a shot. Bold. Got him. Got him. LBW. But a well played innings by Yanaman Milan. He goes for 70. South Africa, 127 for three. Got him. Looking to use his feet and access the leg side. Mohammed Nawaz gets his second scalp. Vuma gone for 20. It's 1 to 8 for four. Shout, big shout, big shout, and the finger goes up. And it looked pretty adjacent from first glance, trying to access that leg side, the big gap around the cow corner. Class, and he has to go for four. It's 140 for five. That's top edge. Safely done. Couple of bounces into the rope. Yeah, fortunate boundary here for Verena. That's big shot. What a shot that is. That is massive. A little bit of a short arm jab and there's a smile in his face. Oh, that is gone. Huge, humongous six. Just walked across the stump, says Indila Pep the choir, and just flicked it on its way. That's a free hit, and that's gone for six. So that's a lovely way for Verena to finish the over. Solid blow. Turns out in a very good over for South Africa. 13 from it. 197 for five now. Four runs. See, that's gone very quickly indeed. Bit of width. Pathlequire took care of that. Yeah. 
cleverly opens the blade, runs it down the third man. Wants to, or oh, he wanted to, not there though. Slept at the bowler's end. Slept upon turning. 50 up now for Verena, off 40 balls. It's really good work. It's been a fine knock, but he will know he's not finished. What a shot that is. That's a magnificent stroke. That is outstanding. That's exactly the best thing that could possibly happen after that delivery. Andy Lepetrawai has got to a half century. It's off 55 balls, it's applauded by his teammates, but the response, the acknowledgement is good. Oh, I don't know if he's got that, I don't know if he's got that, he hasn't. Slower ball again, couldn't make the pace, and here goes Harris Ralph again. So effective at the back end, it's Verena who's gone. Oh, that's gone straight up in the air. Aris Raf, oh, and the keeper's going as well. He owned it. He owned it, Safras. It was going to bounce on Aris Raf's head, I reckon. He had to get out the way because Safras said it was his. There's a shout. There's a shout. There's something on that. Yes, the finger's gone up. Buren Hendricks is gone. Another wicket for Aris Raf. Shot. Yeah, Maharaj can play through that offside. Loves it right there. Pulled him. Going for the big swing, the heave over mid-off again. Doesn't make any contact. An impressive 19, 272 for nine. Struck it again. This time it's gone all the way, sixer. Darren de Pavillon. Bold him, and that is that.